Hello and welcome to WPLMS tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to cover the WPLMS page builder in detail. The page builder used in WPLMS theme is packed in the plugin called Vibe Custom Types. So make sure you have installed this plugin before starting with this tutorial. So whenever you create a new page or edit an existing page, you will see a meta box at the bottom of the page which is called as page builder so to get started with page builder you first need to enable the page builder using the enable disable after enabling this you can choose whether you want to show the page content or not so page content is the content which is written in the main WP editor so let's say we are going to create a new home page So page builder has three main sections columns content and save layouts so columns basically consists of the various alignments which can be done in a page similarly content comprises of various content blocks which can be added to a page so to get started we'll start by adding a few columns So to rearrange the columns, you can simply drag it and place it wherever you want. Right. So now that we have created our layout, we'll start by adding content blocks to the layout. right so for this tutorial I have added all the possible columns and all the possible content blocks in this page builder layout so next we are going to edit each of these blocks and we are going to save it so first let's get started with the layer slider block so we have added the layer slider on a full screen stripe block which means this will be a full full width block so to edit the block we simply have to click on the edit link so here we get the pre-built sliders in layer slider to create a new layer slider you simply have to go to layer slider and click on add new in all sliders link so we're going to select a slider and save settings Similarly for, for WP editor, we can add any content here. So we're gonna add some dummy content. Next is filterable posts. So it really depends if you want to show headings or not. So filterable posts allow you to show post grids which can be filtered using buttons and links available. For this we need to select a post type. So let's say we want to show the courses which are filtered by their course categories so in post type section we select the courses in the taxonomy for the co which is the course category and the taxonomy is course cat for course categories 
next is we select the featured media block style next is the show all link if you click if you select this link then the link points to the all course directory because the post type selected is courses we can disable it next is the column width in pixels so this column width is only relevant till the layout is not in mobile mode next is we click on save changes Now the next column is the sidebar so you can select any sidebar you want to show here you can also create your new, new sidebars so we go to WPLMS options panel sidebar manager and we create a new sidebar call it a sample sidebar and click on save changes next when we publish this page or save as draft this page now if we go and edit the sidebars you can see we have our new sample sidebar here we select it and click on save changes so next is the sliders you can create your own flex slider there and there itself to start adding slides you simply need to click on add slider image select an image from your media library and click on insert into this slider you can add the caption and a link also right so after you have created the added the images in slider simply click on save changes next is the WP editor so you can enter any sample content or you can also use short codes here so let's use the tab short code so here we start adding the tabs and some sample content if you want to show an icon you can simply select from the icon list you can also rearrange the tabs simply dragging and dropping them below so after you have finished with your short code simply click on insert short code and we have a short code ready we click on save changes next is the post grid so here if you want to show a title you can show so we the title and we select the custom post type which is courses now if you want to show courses from a particular category let's say business then you enter the course taxonomy which is course cat here and the taxonomy term name is the value of the taxonomy which is let's say business or if you want to enter specific post IDs then you can simply add the post IDs here separated by a comma next is selecting the featured media block style so we select this for the course remaining these two are for the blog posts these three are for the blog posts this is for single featured image and this is used for testimonial so you can make you can enable disable the masonry layout using this So we're going to make it a masonry layout and we're going to enter a, some widths in pixels you will have to experiment with this depending upon your layout width 
similarly if you want infinite scroll you can enable disable it from here if you want pagination is not valid for course type thumbnail and last is the carousels rotating block click on edit show the titles and you can show a read more link so this link has to point to a custom page URL which could be from your site or from an external site if you want to show controls select yes enter the post type which is posts since we want to show posts here if you want to show from a particular category you can enter the taxonomy as category and enter the category name in the taxonomy term name if you want to show specific posts then you can straight away enter the post IDs here so for this we are going to select the standard one and here we enter the carousel block width in pixels and next is the save changes now after saving these changes we can save the whole page as a new layout and you can give a name to this and you say sample home page and click on save layout right so now we have a full page created with layout saved and the page content is hidden we update our page Now if we view our page, so here is our home page as you can see, these are the two blocks and this is our filterable post type. So the sidebar is not coming, sidebar is not appearing right now because we have not added any widgets to it. So next is our flex slider as you can see, we have the images which were selected for the flex slider similarly we have the tabs and we have the browser okay. and we have the post grid as you can see it is of masonry style and lastly we have our latest posts 